This is a story outlining a brief history of Bitcoin. On the 18th of August 2008, the domain name Bitcoin.org was registered. On the 31st of October 2008, the Bitcoin white paper, authored by Dr. Craig Wright, under the pseudonym of Satoshi Nakamoto and titled Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system, was released to a cryptographic mailing list. The Bitcoin white paper is significant because it expressed for the first time in history how to commoditize digital data using five principal constructs. Those five principal elements that make up a digital commodity are one, a fixed supply so no one controls it and it is therefore common to everyone. Two, a locked protocol so again no one can change it and it is therefore common to everyone. Three, unbounded capacity so limitations and restrictions cannot be manufactured or manipulated and it is therefore common to everyone. Four, economic competition, so the network is open to everyone and therefore common to all. And five, a chain of digital signatures for common accountability, so blame cannot be reassigned and everyone is individually equally responsible for the data they upload onto the network. So if Bitcoin was to be represented metaphorically as a commodity, it would look a bit like this, a five-sided polygon. And because it doesn't have any central point of authority, control or failure, it means it has to be protected externally by patents. On the 3rd of January 2009, after providing a reasonable amount of time for anyone and everyone to start the network themselves, Dr. Craig Wright started the Bitcoin network himself under the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto, when he mined the starting block to the network known as the Genesis block at height zero. Providing a reasonable amount of time gave the starting point of the network commonality in order for the network to be classified as a commodity. Embedded in the Coinbase data of the Genesis block was the text, The Times, 3rd of January 2009, Chancellor on brink of second bailout for banks. The use of a pseudonym enabled the network to grow organically without any central point of authority, control or influence, while proof of work diluted the central starting point over time and provided commonality to the growth of the network, giving even more economic credibility to the network being classified as a commodity. This was the edition of the Times newspaper on the 3rd of January 2009. And this was the headline quoted by Satoshi Nakamoto in the Genesis block. And here we have what's on chain block explorer showing block zero and the now famous decoded message. On the 9th of January 2009, the initial release of the Bitcoin software called Bitcoin Core 0 0.1.0 was released by Satoshi Nakamoto and downloaded by Hal Finney. On the same day, Satoshi Nakamoto, aka Dr. Craig Wright, creates the first Bitcoin logo depicting a gold coin with the letters BC inscribed on it. On the 11th of January 2009, Hal Finney now famously posted out on Twitter, running Bitcoin, and on the 12th of January received 10 Bitcoins from Satoshi Nakamoto in the world's first ever Bitcoin transaction. This transaction took place on the 12th of January 2009 when Hal Finney received 10 bitcoins from Dr. Craig Wright at block height 181. For the purpose of the ledger, 40 bitcoins were sent, 10 bitcoins were kept and 30 bitcoins returned, showing a balance of 10 bitcoins received by Hal. It would ultimately be Hal Finney that persuaded Satoshi Nakamoto aka Dr. Craig Wright to put the 1 megabyte block cap in place. On the 17th of January 2009, Satoshi Nakamoto famously wrote it might make sense just to get some in case it catches on. And then in an email on the 12th of April 2009 to Mike Hearn, Satoshi Nakamoto wrote, the existing Visa credit card network processes about 15 million internet purchases per day worldwide. Bitcoin can already scale much larger than that with existing hardware for a fraction of the cost. It never really hits a scaling ceiling. On the 17th of May 2010, Laszlo Hanyaks posted out on a forum a request to buy pizza with Bitcoin. On the 22nd of May 2010, the first commercial Bitcoin transaction took place when Laszlo Hanyaks paid Jeremy Sturdevant 10,000 Bitcoin for two Papa John's pizzas. This day is now known as Bitcoin Pizza Day and is significant because it gave Bitcoin its first real world commercial value. Prior to Bitcoin Pizza Day, the price of Bitcoin was calculated by the amount of energy each Bitcoin cost to extract. This transaction took place at block height 57043. 
On the 9th of June 2011, the Tulip Trust was created by David Kleiman at the request of Dr. Craig Wright, who transferred 1,100,111 Bitcoin for this purpose. The Tulip Trust represented 5.2% of the total supply of Bitcoin, and approximately 42% of the circulating supply at the time. The intended use of the Tulip Trust was to prove that Dr. Craig Wright was the creator of Bitcoin, had possession of the Satoshi coins, and to act as Bitcoin's insurance policy. As Bitcoin's insurance policy, the Tulip Trust was created to provide enough economic power to intentionally wipe out any securitized, economically worthless alternative protocol forks, such as BTC, BCH and many others, that might have been created prior to its planned return to Dr. Wright on the 1st of January 2020. Within the trust document, David Kleiman wrote to whom it may concern and cc'd in Dr. Craig Wright. I acknowledge the trust and the transfer of bitcoins to this trust. I have full control of all software and the keys used to manage bitcoin as of this date, Thursday the 9th of June 2011. He also said, I, Dave Kleiman, have received 1,100,111 Bitcoin from Craig Wright. At the time of transfer, this is valued at around 100,000 US dollars. I will form a trust to be managed by at least three people, but no more than seven at any time. All Bitcoin will be returned to Dr. Wright on the 1st of January 2020. On the 29th of October 2015, the world learns through Dr. Wright that Bitcoin script is Turing complete through the use of control loops, making Bitcoin a general purpose computing language. In the same year, on the 8th of December 2015, Wired Magazine publishes an article naming Craig Wright as the inventor of Bitcoin and the man behind the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto. And the following day, on the 9th of December 2015, Gizmodo Magazine also did the same. And on that same day, the Australian police raided the home of Craig Wright in relation to being the man behind the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto, the creator and inventor of Bitcoin. On the 2nd of May 2016, Gavin Andresen, creator of the Bitcoin Foundation and the individual known to have inherited the role of lead developer for Bitcoin off of Satoshi Nakamoto, publishes a blog post titled, I believe Craig Stephen Wright is the person who invented Bitcoin. John Matonis, monetary economist and co-founding director of the Bitcoin Association and chief economist at Cypherpunks Holdings, also published an article titled How I Met Satoshi and named Craig Wright as the creator of Bitcoin. Wired Magazine publishes an article titled How Craig Wright Privately Proved He Created Bitcoin. Gizmodo Magazine publishes an article titled Gavin Andresen, I Was Not Hacked and I Believe Craig Wright Is Satoshi. The Economist also publishes an article titled Craig Stephen Wright claims to be Satoshi Nakamoto, is he? The BBC follows suit with an article titled Australian Craig Wright claims to be Bitcoin creator. Gavin Andresen does an interview with the BBC saying he met up with and was shown cryptographic proof beyond reasonable doubt by Craig Wright in London that he possessed the private keys from the very first Bitcoin block. And he also appeared on stage at the BTC16 Blockchain Technology Conference in New York testifying to the fact that Craig Wright showed him cryptographic proof that he possessed the private key for the very first ever mined Bitcoin block. On the 30th of June 2016, Andrew O'Hagan publishes a book titled The Satoshi Affair that names Craig Wright as the creator of Bitcoin and the man behind the pseudonymous author of the Bitcoin white paper, Satoshi Nakamoto. On the 30th of June on the following year, 2017, John Matonis introduces Craig Wright to the audience at the Future of Bitcoin Conference 2017 Arnhem, the Netherlands, as Mr. Bitcoin Dundee. On the 1st of August 2017, a group of developers called Blockstream announced their plans to fundamentally change the protocol design of Bitcoin by segregating the chain of digital signatures from the transaction data. They called this change SegWit, SEG being an abbreviation for the word segregated that removed the digital signatures from the transaction data, and WIT being an abbreviation for the word witness, being the digital signature that is so fundamental for legal and economic purposes in a transaction. The first sentence of section 2 of the Bitcoin white paper defines Bitcoin as a chain of digital signatures. A chain of digital signatures is one of the five fundamental principal constructs that makes Bitcoin a commodity, as it ensures common, equal accountability to all users and developers of the network. SegWit turned BTC from a digital commodity into a digital security offering and removed all economic value from its network. 
The Bitcoin chain was split on the 1st of August 2017. The SegWit protocol created by Blockstream that kept the ticker symbol BTC was implemented on the 24th of August 2017. The original Bitcoin protocol and chain of digital signatures continued under a new name and ticker symbol referred to as Bitcoin Cash and was given the ticker symbol BCH. SegWit was the first time that the Bitcoin protocol had ever been altered, forked and changed. It immediately removed all economic value and contractual credibility from the network. However, it took with it the ticker symbol and its market price. On the 15th of November 2018, the original Bitcoin protocol and chain of digital signatures was given a new name and ticker symbol and was referred to as Bitcoin Satoshi Vision. This happened because a group of developers implemented a protocol change on Bitcoin Cash. This protocol change deleted parts of the transaction data, meaning it could no longer be used as a medium of exchange, and fundamentally changed the protocol from a commodity network into a centrally controlled securitized network, in the same way that Blockstream securitized BTC by implementing SegWit. This means that the only network in existence today that still has the chain of signatures going right the way back to the Genesis block is the original protocol and genuine Bitcoin that now has the ticker symbol BSV. On the 14th of January 2020, Craig Wright confirmed that the keys to the Tulip Trust were returned to him via bonded courier. On the 28th of June 2021, London's High Court grants Dr. Craig Wright via default judgment copyright ownership of the Bitcoin white paper, as the defendant Cobra opted not to defend the claim. On the 2nd of August 2021, Bitcoin BSV underwent a massive failed 51% attack. A malicious miner spent an enormous amount of money on computing power in an attempt to divert the Bitcoin BSV miners away from the original protocol by adding a longer chain of data with an alternative protocol to the network. This attempt ultimately failed, leaving the malicious actor out of pocket and with a huge amount of egg on their face. On the 25th of August 2021, MNP, the fifth largest chartered professional accountancy and business consultancy firm in Canada, issued a report that compares the alignment of the Bitcoin SV Satoshi Vision and the Bitcoin Core BTC protocols with the original Bitcoin protocol. The report titled The Original Bitcoin Protocol, What It Is and Why Does It Matter, found that out of these two competing implementations, Bitcoin SV is the most representative of Satoshi Nakamoto's original intention for Bitcoin. Later on in the same year, on the 6th of December 2021, a Florida jury found that Dr. Craig Wright did not owe half of 1.1 million Bitcoins to the family of David Kleiman. In a court case that saw Ira Kleiman as the personal representative of the estate of David Kleiman, the plaintiff, versus Craig Wright, the defendant. On the 7th of February 2022, a Bitcoin mining company called Tal made history by mining the biggest block of all time. At 3.8 gigabytes in size, it had over 188,000 transactions and made 9.7 BSV in fees. On the 22nd of October 2022, Craig Wright posted, The last of the patents related to scaling have been filed yesterday. The research shows we can scale to over 10 to the power of 11 transactions per second. The cost will be under one thousandth of a US cent a standard transaction. That is 100 times lower than any transaction processing system ever created. Sorry, blockchain scales. As of this date, the 25th of February 2023, Bitcoin BSV, the original protocol and genuine Bitcoin, has 32.1% of the entire market's transaction volume on its network, which is more than any other chain. It also has more transactions and a larger block size than any of the other Bitcoin forks. As of this date, the 25th of February 2023, it has 83.9% of the overall transaction volumes and 95.9% of the block size, which is the data flowing up onto the network. And this concludes a brief history of Bitcoin. The article that contains the links to all the topics discovered in this video is in the description. Stay tuned as the saga continues.